for me. Okay, so well, I'll let you know oh, it's I not forgot good. about what happened last time. That's oh, right. Buddy. It's Your browser does not currently support WebGL rendering, which is required. What? What? What crap do you use? I'm sure that you have hardware rendering. And... It should be. I should not have started the recording. It sounds like. <laughs> sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. You judged the well, gun, easy. perhaps. Use performance settings. What the fuck? Hardware rendering. What is. What do. How do I. I can play bass. I, I can be the bassist if in our awesome. imaginary band. She's the she's the she's the freak. Mm. She's the cool one. Uh, Rio, oh, Lord, freak. She's a freak. Yeah. She's not cool. She's a freak. She. I mean, she is cool though. That's yeah, like but canon. because she's a freak. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I feel like I feel like later on in the show they really they really ignore the fact that she, that 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 she's like oh no don't call me weird. <laughs> that she she she's actively <laughs> deriving joy and pleasure from being called a freak. Yeah. I, I had the exact same reaction I'm whenever like... somebody threatens to kill me. What happened last <laughs> week? Esme. Um. Hey, why are you looking what, at me? What happened? Hey, what? I'm having. I'm having. Um. You know, I'm just figuring out all my family shit at the moment. You know, like the whole situation, just like all of it. Um. Doing. This is this is a very, this is a very family based podcast we're running here. Um. Wherein, uh, I, I have to. I have to. I have a mature conversation with my daughter for the first time. It went and well. And then it went well. It was. I think you I, skipped over a really uh, important part with a lot of explosions. Um, I'm not sure if I did. I'm not sure if I did. Um, well, so we did. We did stuff. Uh, there were some guys, right? This is the beginning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the beginning where we're, we're doing we're we're doing some stuff and there's some guys there, and then we made some of those guys not be there, but then the other guys were like, "Oh man," uh, and they're like, "Hey, can you you guys can just leave?" I'm like, really? Okay, well, whatever, fine. <laughs> and um, and then we, you know. We had we had we had good s s stuff happen between Esme and Good Question, which is great. Um, uh, the Parthenon went on a date, right? That was last session. That was Lord Ed's. Yeah, that was Lord Ed's. What? Oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Lourdes, bro. Okay, Lord Lord is You both went on dates in like the previous two sessions, so it was like it was confusing. Um, yeah. But, um, Many dalliances a with both men and women. This is fucking crazy. We we really are getting some. But um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, shits. And then and then you know in the in the overall grand scheme of things, shits getting real normal style. Um. What with the whole Rumble Town situation, um, it's just very normal. Yeah. Um, and uh, things are things are getting to the point where uh, bad things are. Hey, why did you tick that? <laughs> why did you tick that just now? It's ticked up on. It's it's supposed to be ticked up on. Okay, well that was scary to do in the middle of me talking about how normal things were. <laughs> yeah. Imagine me th ima throw throw on the screen a picture of me throwing two big middle fingers on the screen. All right, thanks. Can you get to that, Max? Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No problem. So, <laughs> um, things are getting real normal. And last we left off, 
Well, six. What what happened when we last left off? Like, why don't why don't you why don't you so, t take us back to that very moment? Yeah, let's let's take it back normal style to the beginning. Sorry, to the end don't of last session. Don't, the, don't say the things I say. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you can't say the things that she says, dude. <laughs> okay. You can't just say okay. that. Okay, I won't. It's, I fucking won't. Her thing. I fucking won't. I fucking won't. We won't share anything. <laughs> we'll have no joy in this house. <laughs> um. Finally. Beginning of this session, end of last session, um, truck security arrived. Um, the truck security crew, known as Rolling Stones, are in town. Um, and they're pissed. They're not happy. They're not having a great one, really. Um, but they're being transported by a pilot, a, a IPSN cargo pilot, uh, huh. whose name is Drew. Is that Notable, Drew? No, uh, her noble... F We're gonna just throw it out whatever pronoun first comes out of my mouth. Because uh, I'm going any all on this bitch. Uh, <laughs> cool. They stepped out, they looked at Esme, Esme looked at looked at them, and uh, they then went on a crash course collision with one another, because uh, this is Esme's older sister. Es <gasps> Esme's running. <laughs> like... <laughs> Esme's just... <laughs> Esme has, like, tried to slip into the shadows. Oh, God, so, okay, so... Drew has approached you, Drew's in front of you, Drew's looking at you, Drew's identifying you with their eyes. You both realize yeah. who each other are at the same time, and then you're just running away. I, I well, I'm, I'm like, it's not like it's not. I'm not quite like you know like I'm not quite like you know turning my back to her and running. I'm just like trying to like, uh, sneakily step behind the nearest wall, but like you know Esmeralda? obviously not sneakily, but like doing a. Uh. Ask me. <clears throat> Uh, uh. You owe me 1,234 scripts. Uh, I put my hand on my blade. Why? Under <laughs> underneath the poncho. Why? He has not made the connection that they are related. <laughs> no, I, that's, that's as me saying that. <laughs> that no. is how much your funeral cost. Oh. What? Oh no. Huh. Uh. Uh. Ashwin looks really confused. Uh. I. I uh, uh, don't run. Uh, don't run. I'll find I, you. Don't I'm, run. I'm, I'm, I. I wasn't going to run. I wasn't going to run. I. I. I <laughs> Esme, who's your friend? Why are you here? I. Why the fuck what? are you here? <laughs> wait, wait, why am I here? I, this is my job. I, I have a job too. I. Not what I last heard. <sighs> Listen, it's um. Sorry. Don't ask me another fucking question. You start explaining things now. I. No, I don't want to. You don't this want is, to. I, you no, owe it to not. me. What do you mean I owe it to you? We, you. Uh, we never even. Uh, you. I never. I barely saw you. you. We don't. We hardly know each other. What do you? Uh... What do you mean? Esmeralda. That's that's no way to talk to family. <laughs> Listen, uh -oh. on a practical, pragmatic, logistical level, I paid for your funeral expenses. I get to know why you faked your death. That's that's fair. I... Yeah, I get. Yeah. Um... Ashwin says that that does sound pretty fair, actually. Yeah, th listen to. Uh, um. As, you don't as have we a name tag. As, as, we, <laughs> as, as we start, like, rooting through your pockets. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I don't think I have the. I don't think I have the money right now. It's fine. You don't have to have the money right now. Just, to, uh, just explain yourself. Oh my god. I. 
um... I, I put my hand on Esme's chest, uh, just to, like, stop her. And then I'm like, she joined a top-secret union organization. Legally, she's dead. And then I look at, at Esme, you were taking too long. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, that's about, I mean, that. yeah, that's true, that's true. I wasn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about it. Why, why are you a secret agent? Well, I'm not anymore, um, so Union wants me dead, um. Giving you just the blankest, flattest face. <clears throat> well, I don't. I don't. Well, you wanted an explanation. I don't. No, I'm, I'm just. Know? Just it. It's led to me needing more, having more questions. Um, why? Why are you in the long rim? Is it? Is we, it because Union wants to kill you? We live in a simulation. Pinches you. We do. Yeah. All right. Never say that Ow. to the end. What do you mean? That's, that's uh, I was deflecting, pain. but that is true. Sh uh, sh shut up. Uh. Well, okay. Um. Yes. Um. I'm here because of that mostly, but also there's other. I have spe very specific business here. That's um kind of. Hard so, to how much um, are you paying your bodyguards? These are my, these are my friends. Uh, looks, looks at, looks at everybody else for confirmation of this. That is the least, like, uh, uh, <laughs> persuasive way anybody has ever said that. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> friends. You have yep. friends, well, besties, forever. Why'd you think of us that way? Ashwin I, looks like I a do? Uh, shark. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I sometimes worry about the whole team dynamic thing. That uh, oh, oh, you don't okay, think we're well, friends? No, I um, I do. I just sometimes worry. There's like a because I I got elected like team doesn't matter. Oh well, um, I must be a bad friend if you feel that way. You're not um, a bad friend. Got, this this is my sister. True. You have I... a sister. I was nice point at, I, I, I point at her. <laughs> yeah, this it's me. I'm the one who's being pointed oh, at. Oh, cool. Are you a scientist too? No. Oh, cool. What do you do? I points at the giant fucking IPS and ship that pulled in that. I drive that. Ah, you're like a trucker. Is that sure. The same, is that the same shit? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So what, you're a trunk sec pilot? Sometimes. I'm an IPSN pilot, mostly. Cargo's my usual yeah. game, but they needed somebody on short notice, and I needed to cover some recent expenses. Mm. Rathanon's doing mental math and says, uh... Well... Theoretically, I could still make my transaction today, and then we'd have enough left over to pay it off, I think? Totally. Listen, the money's not that big of a concern. That's just mostly me busting balls. Okay, I don't care about the money. I'm, 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 I'm in a situation in which I've gone the fuck off nowhere, and I've found people I am related to. That's not an everyday occurrence. I, I'm running on a lot of emotions right now. <laughs> also, you thought you were dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah thank huh? you, Devil uh, Ashwin. Ashwin Teclu. I, I heard you when you said your name. I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sharp. Yep, sharp. Except on things. Sharp. Oh, you. Sh what am I supposed you, to tell should, mom? Should... Don't. She's gonna call me. Don't. You know she's gonna call me. She calls me all the time. You know she's gonna call me. What am I gonna say? I, I'm. What do you think? Do you think mom needs to hear? No. No. Mom doesn't need to. No. I... <laughs> do you do you ever plan on telling her? Do you ever plan on going back home? Are you ever gonna ever gonna say, uh, "Hey, mom, I'm not uh, dead"? You ever gonna let her know? 
Uh, it's... Um... Well... I don't know, that seems... That's... It seems really... Um... That's, that would be really... I mean, she's... How, how many years has it been? A lot? A lot. A lot is a, is a fine estimate. You don't answer any of... You, well, you didn't. She did. She stopped calling you, you know, after a minute. So, I... Th- I... Th- I... I don't know, it just... I... What? I, am I just supposed to, like... Be alive again? That's not... No. That's not how this works. But you are alive! <laughs> but I... Uh, Does your mother live in Union Space? Yes, we're from the, we're from we're from the Metropolita. <sighs> then it's probably safer for everyone if she doesn't ever find out. Yeah. Okay, I guess I won't tell I, her anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, the guy probably has eyes on her right now. Yeah, those are some letters in an order. Mm-hmm. They sure are. Um, I'm glad that's the extent of your knowledge on the subject. What the, <laughs> so, all right, you've vaguely explained who these chuckle fucks are. That's us. Even, <laughs> even if, considering that you've joined Union or whatever, I barely saw you for like... She kind of looks like she's blanking. F- f- Fifteen? Fifteen years. I mean, uh, I mean. What <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> well, I was with uh, I was with USB, and then I was um. You know, yeah, we heard. We called. You dropped out. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I did mercenary stuff. And then I, um. Did more stuff, and um, I'm here now. I did. Did you? Did you not want to talk to us so badly that you would have preferred to do mercenary work than just ask us for assistance? Well, I mean, it's, it's. I mean, it's not like I needed to do mercenary. Work. I mean, like you know, I. I, could, I could, you did it for I fun. Could... And... Oh god, I feel so. Oh god, oh, I did it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that that wheeze is not in character. <laughs> she puts her head in her hands and pulls back her hair, past, and, like lifts up the baseball cap to run her hand through her scalp, and then puts the hat back on. Oh, by the way, you, Jesus you, fucking the, Christ! Can you show the people what Drew look like? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Sorry. What did you say? I need. I need six to show the people what what, what Drew looks like. In our, uh, and I can probably put their picture up on Foundry. Oh boy, visual. Yay! I love visuals. Smiley face. I love Thank visuals. You. She seems cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's the sis. There's the brother sister as we think. So exactly yeah, here's, here's exhausted. <laughs> Not even sure what yeah. to do at this point. Here's 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 fun here's here's a fun fact. Uh, Drew was Drew was gonna be my backup character in case Esme ever died. Hmm. Meta kind of the, 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 <laughs> the night is still young. The night is still young. <laughs> yeah. We can I make mean, that well, transfer well, she, at well, some point today. <laughs> Well, she's, well, she's not. She's not. She's not even. She's not even a mech pilot. Comma, canonically now, so it's like. It's okay. She's coming on the junker. <laughs> l- l- listen, True. I gotta. I. There's so many things I still need to do, and. 
Is that your ship? Points at the Anomaly Karis. It sure is. I will come to you. Okay? I still have to do my job. And I presume that maybe you still have to do your job of not having one. So... I have a job. Yeah? What is it? Well, you you first. You, what, do you, what, what do you have to do? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go talk to the portmaster about how long we're going to be here. And if I need to move that fucking giant ass thing. I need to uh, get our fucking supplies checked. I need to... Do you know how much fucking paperwork goes into cargo? It's I, I well I don't I don't know I thought it, I thought it helped you uh, I don't I thought it helped to list it all out you know like, you know the more I list it out the more fucking straight. the more fucking anxious I'm getting. Uh, yeah. Okay. And who fucking knows what trunk security is gonna get up to over there? I, they're all fucking pissed. They they just I, they just I, come and they just commission me like out of fucking nowhere. I I look I look between I look between all of us. Mm hmm Yeah. So mm. that's it's pretty, it's pretty concerning. Um anyway. I'll talk so, to uh, you. You'll talk to me. I'll okay? I'll talk I'll I'll talk to you. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna bring beer too. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. Go, go, go to work. Go, to... yeah, yes, yes. Um, I'll. I'll she and Esme have I... like that exact same eye twitch. <laughs> I, 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 like, I like, I like salute. I like salute Sarah as we send her off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and, and and they're gone. Whew, so. As 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 he's like biting her knuckles. She seems nice. I have you to kill myself. Me? I have to kill myself right now. Uh, no, you don't. First things first. We have to actually do our job before. Um. Our mutual friends, uh, you know, jerks ahead towards the trunk security fucking battalion, which is currently uh, just, I presume, goose stepping across the station. Yeah, they're heading straight for the upper rumble. Oh fuck! It Maybe we should four head there. Squads total, where the one Maybe like we... commander. Maybe we should head there, but not check in and just watch because I have a sneaking suspicion. It's, uh, uh, do you think we can take out four squads by ourselves? I Jesus don't. Christ, Ashwin. <laughs> Trunk secured? No. No. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't think Esme could throw a punch to actually save her life. Sorry, Esme. I'm, I'm just saying we have giant robots. <clears throat> okay, well, we don't... What we don't, what, what exactly what we don't want to do is have a lot of big robot killing war here. That's kind of the goal. Uh, yeah. Right. What we want to not do. Oh, Why is she here? Why her? Why? Why was it her of all people? Oh. You know, fate has a way of making fools of all of us. God, fucking damn it! Let's. Go. Let's go. Let's go observe. I guess. Yeah. So you just keep just now paces behind the 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 trunk security. <laughs> That's us. That's us. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's immediately what I thought of when Josie said, "That's us." <laughs> it's really good. It. That's pretty. Good. <laughs> All right, so you, you follow, you follow, you follow. They go straight to where you are gonna go too. They go right into the club. Um, two battalions stay out front. Well, well, I guess all four of them stay out front. Two of two of them then depart. They like split off into two groups as they go down towards somewhere else at Upper Rumble. 
uh, I as am the going commander to... steps inside. I'm going to, without saying anything to the rest of the group, um, duck into an alleyway and go invisible. Hey, Asher. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, he did the, he did the thing, thing again. again. <laughs> he, he fucking did that thing like he does again. Oh, it pisses me off. I just um, hope he doesn't get blown up this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I am going to sneak uh, into the club from the ceiling. Damn. Spider okay, give me, uh, give me a little... Can you guys hear that cat? An act on scene or unheard at accuracy. I hear no cat. Okay, that's good, because there's a cat crying outside my door. <laughs> Kitty sign for now. Kitty alert. Kitty alert. Who's cat? Um, we're fostering uh, some strays. Mm, that's like, aww. That's cute. 21. Sick. Where'd you roll that? What do you mean? Where, where's the it's roll? There. It's there. Oh, it's it there. delayed a little. In the foundry? Yeah. I've, I'm behind two years. Yeah, I, it also started delayed for me. Okay, well, it'll come out. 21, you said? Yeah, you very yeah. easily just crawl through the skylight. Uh, the sound of music is suddenly being interrupted. It sort of masks your... Uh, approach as the commander steps through to the upper floor. You see Danny there, he's like, and whoa, 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 and then somebody puts a gun in his face, he's like, okay, alright, and he sits down, he just sort of goes, pats his fucking hand on the desk, and just sort of like, sits there with both hands on his hips, just like, yep, alright, that's fine, I bow out when I need to bow out. <laughs> uh, would I be able to send a, like, live feed to my group with my cybernetics. Do you have info skin? That's I guess I, I guess now. It would be like some dermal netting or whatever. You don't have Gabriel anymore. This is truly the big downside. Oh yeah, that's true. Alright, never mind. But you can describe to them what's going on. Do you... Um, I do that. Do you have data plating? Actually, I think I do have data plating. Come on. Yeah, I think data plating does that. You have mag clamps. Uh, I know that. Like stims, mag clamps, thermite charge. Oh yeah, that's right. Next time I'll grab data plating. Yeah, data plating's good. The commanding officer. I'll get it implanted in my head. It steps up into that upper balcony area you'd been in, but before. Um. And you're sort of hovering now above them using your mag clamps to stick to the ceiling. Come on, where is it? There it is. Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I help you? You've rudely stepped into our place a bit. Not another word, please. My name if you so dare to try and remember it, is Jericho Montgomery. I am the commanding officer of the Rolling Stones, and you are in possession of prop proprietary IPSN information, data, and technology. You and your pirate friends shall seize whatever stolen goods you have post-haste, and if not, we shall be burning this town to the ground. Is that clear? Uh, and the guy, the family guy just kind of like sits there. He had, he was talking with his hands and then he paused and now he's just kind of like got both eyebrows raised. And he's like, Crystal. But I don't quite know what you're referring to. We haven't stolen the information. Well, you did in fact commission a crew to steal said information, correct? Um, maybe. Perhaps. I don't think there's any connecting evidence. Stop. Stop speaking. Stop. Stop speaking. Alright? Listen. And, and he kind of like leans in. And he like leans down with both hands on his knees like he's talking to a child. You have seven days. And we are going to get everything that we want back. 
And in seven days when it doesn't happen, we're going to do what Trunk Security is supposed to do in the first place. All right. Excellent conversation. Puts both hands on the shoulders and pats it. Goodbye. <sighs> and uh, the the made man just sort of like puts his fucking head in his hands and he sighs and he fucking ruffles his own hair and fucking curses. And he starts making a phone call. Uh, Ashwin, what are you up to? Um... I leave the way I came. Um, Assassinate watch. him before he rats us out. <laughs> I'm I'm going to watch the direction they go, um, and then I'm gonna hop um, over to uh, back to my group. All right. So, uh, Ashwin eventually returns. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> What's up? What did he see? <clears throat> uh, I told him everything that I saw in excruciating detail. Thank you. <laughs> well, you didn't have to tell us about that mole. <laughs> yeah, you want to get that look at soon. You I dedicated think. several paragraphs to the mole. It, it was, it's kind of. Sorry, uh, SSC training is hard to break. <clears throat> yeah, Jericho yeah, no, walks out from the the club and start going the opposite direction where you guys are kind of posted. And the battalions follow behind him. Do we know what, what info we took? That's a good question. I don't think we cracked it open. Hmm. Must have been important. They're pretty miffed. Yeah. Well, this is uh, what... We in the business call a fucking pickle because I think we have to turn this in to get what we need to do. And uh, if we don't, right. then I'm pretty sure trunk security will kill everyone. And that will activate the. I'm completely blanking on what they're fucking called. Metafold. Metafold runner. runner. Thank you. That but just ticked up right. while I was watching it. Yeah, I, yeah, I should have said that. That's. We're at one already. Uh, let's talk about some of these clocks, actually. Okay. All right. All right. Nobody, <laughs> trunk security tensions, and OMDI. OMDI is coming. You have mm. ten days. Nine, ah. technically. Trunk security tensions just describes the general mood and atmosphere between the local population and trunk security who are sort of squatting to try and regain proprietary technologies in the city of Rumbletown because certain groups have gotten a bit too ambitious and now IPSN is trying to remind them that they know where they live. When that mm -hmm. reaches six, it will be bad. When OMDI reaches the end of its clock, it will be worse. Nobody is the NHP that you picked up way back when from the Nova. And that is status of its completion. Uh, and why nobody being completed it being important thing um, is something that we'll get into when you have a conversation with Japia. Yay. Yippee. All right. So, like, what do you guys want to do? Hooey. Uh, this is Should rough. We do. We're in a bit of a pickle, as I'll say. Oh, uh, it's a fucking yeah. pickle? It's industry term? Yeah. Uh. 
I have to meet a guy. That's on my agenda today. When was that fight scheduled for? It hadn't been scheduled yet. They just told you to keep an eye ear open for it. Okay. To keep your schedule open. We may schedule you. Okay. <laughs> they fucking uh, put great. you on call. They put Terrible. my ass on call. Uh, I have to meet that guy and pay for the weapon I bought. Which I'm sure will be fun with Trunk Security diddly fucking around. Um... But god damn do I want that spear, so I'm doing it anyway. Uh, that's what's on my agenda for today. I don't know what else would be other people have got. Anybody else have anything specific? Not really. So are you guys going to go in and turn in the job? Maybe we should go talk to him first. I feel, I feel like... We, this would be our first chance to see the Metafold Ruiner seed. Hmm. We don't know what this thing is. We don't know what, how the seed works. And if we can get to the seed before it hatches, maybe, just maybe, we can destroy it before it wakes. Yeah. I got a question. Uh, are there any are there any obvious signs that trunk security is like watching the place? I feel like this might be also just be a Rita situation. Go for it. Yeah, read a situation for me. Okay. Uh, let me roll this shit. I'll read your situations. You worry we'll go turn it in and then they'll see us and know we're associated. Yeah. Uh a fifteen. So, um, you feel like, based on what Ashford described to you about the interaction between, uh, Colonel, I think, it's Colonel Montgomery, Colonel Jericho Montgomery, and the family guy, oh, fuck, <laughs> holy crap, did you, have a, did you have a funny moment? <laughs> He's just a CEO, okay, yeah. The CEO of Jericho Montgomery. Uh, he was kind of right. It is weird that he just knew. And you think that at worst, well, at bare minimum, that there's a rat in the family. Somebody told on you. Oh, you suspect that we just got the info like last night or early morning even, and then they rushed over here. Yeah. So it wasn't our extraction of the data that tipped them off. They kind of knew this was an operation. How do we find a rat? Well, oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, I, I kind of crossed my arms. We could deliver the information first somewhere where nobody else will know. Then. How? Sorry, go on. Well we can find a, a, a place that, well, it's true that our, and then he kind of points at the, at the place our liaison could be the rat. But, if we can get him somewhere where there aren't prying eyes, maybe the anomalous Karis, or some kind of neutral ground that they wouldn't expect us to meet. We can do the handoff. He keeps the information. That the fact that he even has the information a secret for now. We get what we need. And Trunk then, Security already is assuming that they have the information. Right. Um, so from what Trunk Security says, if they don't get that information in their hands, they are going to kill people. Yikes. 
I, I guess suppose theoretically if there is a rat, they also know who was hired. Hmm. Yeah, I, I imagine that they, they probably already have eyes on us. Um, and if they don't, they will soon. Oh, fuck. Um, it... No, I don't need a hint right now. Um, I was about to go... Well, it... it... Could Ashwin maybe, like, try to think of something from his past that he's done for the town? I don't, I don't need a hint yet. We don't need a hint yet, do we guys? No. I think it, we should at least check in with our guy, get him somewhere, and tell him there's a... F you got a rat. Hmm. I think so, too. If he hasn't figured that out already. Yeah. Okay. Where do you think would be a safe place for us to meet? If you say that burger place, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Damn. Uh, I was. <laughs> I was almost thinking the fist kissers place. If we could get them to agree to come down there, that might work. You wouldn't expect that. And if they show up at the fist kissers place, well, we're gonna find out before they find us. Okay. Just any place that isn't the bar, the club. I think the arena is, is the, the perfect meeting for it. Hmm. Uh, the best okay. way you have contact with the guy who gave you this job is through Danny. Ugh, damn. Who could be the rat? Let me say that. He's the only other named character in the family. You, you hate all my friends. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to believe that. He got us the job to meet up in the first place. If that just means that he, uh, he might know. I, we know two people in the family right now. Yeah. Well, hmm. That. I'm gonna reach out to him ask if he can talk to his boss about ha having our meeting at the fight club see is there anything that you can do to mask your number I don't know if he'd be willing to parlay if he if I came off as a stranger Is there any way that... Oh, okay, hold on. I, I have an idea. Um, we on. saw the direction that the guy went, mm -hmm. right? Jericho? Yeah. Jericho. Um, yep, yep, yep. Specifically the family guy. I want to be clear. It's Jericho. <laughs> Jericho is not the family guy. Jericho is the commander of the Rolling Stones. He's trunk security. Okay, the family guy... Is still inside. Left. Still in there. He's still inside. Oh, he's still inside? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go invisible again and uh, sneak back into the into the bar. Well, you did it once. Uh, same next verse, same <laughs> as the first. Go ahead. Uh, Have fun. You do so. You're um, inside. What are you doing? Okay, cool. Um, I find a boss, um, and I exit invisibility right in front of him. Oh. Hi. Uh meet us at the Fist Kissers bar tonight. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? Meet us at the Fist Kissers bar tonight. All right. Uh, am I allowed to bring security? Uh, he thinks for a second. Try to keep a low profile. Oh, okay. As long as you get us what we paid you to fucking get. We did. I could give it to you now, but I feel like we should discuss. 
Fair enough. Alright, I'll see you then. Tonight, it's a date. Get the fuck out of here. I uh, go invisible again, and uh, a few minutes later, I pop up in between Lordis and Parthenon. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even there that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say? I was I was looking right there. We'll uh, meet him at the Fiskus's bar. Okay. We just have to. We should probably make sure that that's okay with the Fiskus's, but we'll tell them they really don't have a choice. That's that's it's kind of the best option. The family and the Fiskus's have a good relationship. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good. Everybody lovely, friendly, happy. Well, they in particular, because whenever the family needs people to be, like, bodyguards, they usually hire fist kissers. Mm. So, uh, Parthenon, let's do your thing. Yeah. Just fucking acquires the currency. I think we have. Do we have an ATM? Do we have? Did we have bank accounts? How the fuck did any of that work? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Is I think the answer. Yeah, I carry it in a briefcase. She carries it in a briefcase. Gold coin, Scrooge McDuck. McDuck yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, goes to goes to meet the guy. Parthenon, Vosh, Scrooge, McGlanky. Uh, give me a reader situation. Oh. <laughs> Is that oh, okay? What situation am I reading? Just the general situation as you're walking uh, around towards this meeting location. Uh, tw- uh, twelve. So as you approach the the meeting location, you do spot somebody, uh, and you get the immediate vibe that they're the person you're looking for, as they kind of spot you and look you up and down, uh, and motion to head into this building that they're leaned up against as they okay. just sort of slip inside. Uh, you take one look to the left and the right outside the building and you don't see anybody or any signs of trunk security patrolling yet. They're probably still getting set up. And you head in. Alright, I do that. Yeah. What exactly is Parkman doing? I'm buying a weapon that I got on the <laughs> black market. Alright. Oh, cool. I hope you have a way of carrying four assault I hope you have a way of carrying four hard suits around with you and a giant spear without drunk security asking you questions. I like to imagine uh, she brought uh, a truck, as not as in a car, as in the, the fucking thing you use to carry, like, crates. Oh, like a fucking dolly? <laughs> yeah, like a dolly. Like for furniture. <laughs> She's also got, like, a folded-out dolly for furniture. Okay. Alright. Well, money... Here you go. And here's the goods. Uh, he kind of like points out uh, an unmarked crate. This appears at like a warehouse of sorts. Okay. Get my uh, get my dolly. Kind of slide it under there. One of them is like a oh. long, slender crate, which you assume the that spears in. That makes sense. Uh, loads it up on her on her dolly. It's got a strap. It's, she straps it down. It's a little tall. It's it's a pain in the ass. It's Things what? are shifting around. You have to like have one hand up top of it, holding it all in place while you push it around. It's uneven. Okay. It's annoying. You have to fucking you have to move everything again just to get through the doorway. <laughs> Listen, it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, as you're on your way back towards, I assume you're just gonna take this straight to the anomalous Harris, Just no fucking risk. Yeah. You do see that no. there are two trunk securities on patrol down here now. Oh. Okay. I'll just act like I'm fucking moving cargo because I am. That's true. And act, uh, just it's fucking uncomfortable, okay. and uh, and and oh, uh, yeah. What are you carrying? Cargo. They don't tell me. They don't pay me to tell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm losing my words. They don't pay me to know what's in it. What kind of dock worker walks around in a salt hard suit? I assumed Parthenon was wearing clothes at the time. To be fair, 
That's fair. Okay, Parthenon's in clothes. That's fine. That's reasonable. I don't think she wears her her assault hard suit constantly. She is not you a. You look like a dock worker. She's not actually. Yeah. Uh, the look. Like... Okay. Sure. What do I look like? You look like a civvy who's hauling around unmarked goods. Can I make a roll with hide the truth? Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you said that to him. <laughs> yeah, I said that out loud. No, I didn't. Um, Why not? Par- Parthon wouldn't know what I that think is. Work. She isn't. That she look. She may be doing weird space prayer, but she's not on that meta level yet. <laughs> uh, she hasn't broken the fourth wall. Um, yeah, uh, she's. Just gonna look him straight in the eye and say, Man, come on, do I really look that interesting? This is, as far as I know, it's a bunch of scrap fucking metal. Please just leave me alone so I can do my job. And I'm gonna roll hide the truth. Uh, that's an 18. Uh, you can't see his expression through the helmet, but they look at you very long. And then there's, like, some radio chatter, and then the other guy kind of, like, motions to his friend. (sighs) We don't have time for this. Keep moving. Thank you. And she does. And you get it all loaded up into the Anatma Lucaris, and... Anatma. What? Esme Lordos, do you have anything in particular you want to be doing? Uh, oh, add a character to the party. What? Yo, what's up? Mm, where did we leave off with nobody? The NHP? I wasn't there um, for that. Last time, last time we we checked in on it to, to, to we showed we showed the we showed the operative word guy um mm. the uh, the NHP and we were we were like yep he's all good yeah. They're chilling. Okay. Do we, do we have an idea what this clock's for then? Um. Basically, if uh, sense, the 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 what's it called? Congregation is uh is in the process of uh gradually unshackling him so that he can and but but like making sure he can still like communicate with people and like okay. you know yeah. All right. Yes, yeah. Mother, we're receiving a call. Oh, what's up? Answering. Ding, ding. Pardon me, is this... Who am I speaking to? The... Well, who is this? Uh, this is Jadia. Oh, hey. Um, this is Esme. Hey. Ah, oh, good. Listen, when you get the chance, swing back by the church, okay? Oh, okay. I don't know um, what you what? did, but worked wonders diplomatically. Operative uh, words, cooperation with us. We're set to go, we're just lacking manpower right now. Ah. Like about nobody? Yes. Uh, again, swing by sometime. I don't want to talk about everything on the phone. Like, I don't trust these things fucking at all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I'm not a phone. She can trust me. <laughs> yeah, of course. You should tell her that. I'll, I'll, I'll let her know. Oh, Parthenon just stuffed me full of stuff. What? Parthenon put stuff in me. She's offloading inside me. Mm. Uh, Can I hear this I, from where I, I am? <laughs> One second. I, I didn't. Mean... On. What? We just got a call from Jake. She wants to meet up with us. Oh, great! Thanks. So uh, did... Offloading inside of me and come on. Okay, GQ. Yeah, maybe hurry we up need and to. How's it your load? Uh, maybe we need to work on the wording of that, buddy. 
No, we don't. You know what? One of us is the uh, near omnipotent uh, space entity, and one of us isn't. So what do I know? And she just uh, goes back to putting the fucking hard suits in the hard suit base. <laughs> yeah. uh, you back up with the group. Um, I suppose I'll start shoving you with a broom off towards the congregation church. I feel like yeah. GQ knows what she's doing there. She's <laughs> she's in that phase, I think. Wink. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you guys arrive at the church. Um, there's somebody at the door, somebody you recognize. It's... It's... Hey, it's me, Denise. Um, uh, remember oh from, from the Nobody mission? Hey, D- Denise. What the fuck? Sorry, who are you again? Oh, well, d- 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 sorry, I... Denise. Mm. Um, no, could you... Could you repeat that? D- Denise? I don't I feel like it... Oh, okay. I think... Yeah, sorry, it just... I don't know, I feel like I feel like the rest of you guys don't really... You don't really make it stick that well. Oh. Maybe it... Yeah, you're just not establishing yourself the same way? I... Yeah, I feel like you could... Maybe you should have a thing like, my name's so... Denise. So like hey, it's saying, me, Denise. I'm Denise. Denise. She looks like she's about Your to friend. fucking cry. Oh oh shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that was, that was meant to be playful, and then it came off as mocking. I think. No, Denise, I'm sorry. I shouldn't actually just, say that. It's just we usually talk to Josh when he has this whole thing that we like, and we're just alluding to that. You're fine. You did great. Yeah, he's Joshua. He's Joshua, and you're Denise. <laughs> JP is inside. Oh my god. That's true. Um, <laughs> He's waiting for let's... you in her office. Don't cry, please. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> so, let's let's go in. I want to go in. Mm. Yeah, what are we thinking? Um, uh, 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 before I go in, I whisper to Denise, you, you, you are enough, you matter, I care about you. <laughs> <laughs> you get her. You got her. Okay, good. Awesome. Salvaged. Hmm. Yippee! Yeah, you step up to the hallways. Da 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 I'll sit on the armrest and one can work against it. Hi. So, the operate world is working with us now. They're providing their additional specialized technology to help us. And they've provided one of their NHP specialists to assist us. However, it's a lot of work. And if we are now on a timer due to truck security's arrival, I figured I'd get into contact with you to try and speed things up. Yeah, what can we do? Well, there's a couple of things you could be doing. One, you could slow down any problems with truck security, or you can speed up how nobody's coming along. Well, we've got an NHP specialist. I point at um, at uh, Esme. Mm-hmm. We've got a PR specialist. I point at uh, Parthenon and Morris. We have two of those, actually. Cool. <laughs> PR specialist, is that what they're calling you now? Uh, I guess so. And I'm really good at stabbing man. people. We'll find a use for that. Put us where you need us. Aye, well, an NHP specialist will be more than welcomed in the, uh, oh, where is it? Um, down at where we're working on nobody. You've been there before, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is so. 
Uh, I know that truck security is getting themselves situated up in Upper Rumble. They've already started putting out their patrols throughout the entire city. They're trying to police it, essentially. We've gotten a few knocks on our doors. Things are moving quickly and pleasantly. We haven't stolen anything yet, thank God. But if they find out about nobody, they're not going to be pleased. Like, what faction of ship nobody come from in the first place? Nova was a... Um, it was a cargo ship. It could have been a subsidiary of IPSN. Easily. It's hard to say if nobody is IPSN technology, though. Have we asked nobody? Would they know? Mm, at this point, they wouldn't be able to tell you. Regardless, keeping that under wraps, trunk security away from our work, and stopping them from harassing the operant world, the family, the fist kissers, all of the above, it sounds like a day in the work. I feel like this is Ambrose's fault somehow. It's all too well timed. Probably. Hmm. <sighs> but here's the big news about why nobody is so important right now. I believe that nobody can help not only precisely locate the seed, but Abortion. I am working on a theory that we can neutralize the seed. We can't stop it from being born, but we can change the circumstances by which it's born. We can birth it early. Hmm. If we can induce a in premature birth using nobody, we might be able to stop this before it can become a problem. Would aborting its birth that would it be less it. powerful? It I would mean, be a zygote. Have you ever stomped on a zygote before? It's very easy. I'll take your word. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do that often. Yes, the embryonic stage is where we're our weakest, tactically speaking. <laughs> Logical, <laughs> though. Uh, where where do you, you get this idea to use nobody on the rear air? I got it from my conversations with Jesse. I was hmm. explaining to him the functionality of the rear air, and we tossed some ideas around at each other. Smart guy he is. Oh. oh, for sure. The idea is his, but I think the esoteric perspective is ours. I, I don't think he would have ever had to think about this if I didn't put it in front of him. Oh. Sounds like a good bit of collaborating. Good to hear. Hey, thank you again for getting that set up for us. So... If there's anything, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Be careful. Don't die. Smoke them if you got them. For sure. Where to live by. Mm-hmm. Parthenon, you're being very quiet. <laughs> yeah. I... I don't know. Uh, I, I'm trying to think where I fit into all this. Uh, and also, I, Magdalene, I'm a bit tired. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought the two of you were getting along. Ideologically or whatever. What? No, yeah, I mean... Um, I'm certainly thinking about stuff. Hmm. I well. Good luck with it all then. You don't yeah. need to sit around in here anymore. You can go. Movie's <laughs> over. Leave. <laughs> go home. 
Okay, gosh. <laughs> oh, we're saying our welcome. But okay, we'll we'll be on our way. Thank you. You have a good one. Yeah, of course. Alright, bye. Walk out. Parthenon lingers just long enough to ask one question, and that's When you pray, do you ever try to capture the size of the whole thing? The size of what? The of what we're of what I don't know how to put it a different way. Uh the what and why of what we're doing. And how it works? I don't know. When you're standing at the foot of a mountain that stretches off into the sky, it's natural to wonder how far it goes beyond the directions you can't see. But is it a healthy exercise to worry about? Probably not. So I try not to worry about it. You think Ambrose prays? That's an excellent question. Yeah. I hadn't asked it myself before. I guess I'd always assumed, but... Huh. I guess I'm... Just thinking of coming out from the angle of I hope nobody's listening. <laughs> I... Then again, I guess that might not be true either. Anyway, uh, later. And she leaves. Toodles. Toodles? What the fuck do I start saying toodles? <laughs> I feel like she's always said toodles. Oh, yep. She's done that. Fuck. She's on that toodles shit. So what, what do you guys toodle, 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 Max. Toodle. <laughs> Absolutely pilled. It is like 2 or 3 p.m. at this point. Cool. Mm. So we have a little time before we meet with uh, the family. It's around 7-ish. Yeah. Uh, I want to head down and uh, see the nobody deal myself. Alright. Uh, anybody else got anything specific they want to do? Do anyone have any good ideas for slowing down trunk security in the meantime? Not really that Ash one we can. Uh huh. Um, I feel like he could assassinate the captain. That's as likely uh, to. Uh, that's not no. <laughs> intensify things as yeah. it is to calm things down. <laughs> they might like be more aggressive after but i guess yeah i'm not, I'm not sure that's very likely to uh, i'm not sure that's very likely to to make them want to fuck off okay. yeah hmm. yeah the next ship they send will be a warship they're yeah. <laughs> they're poking around for intel but hmm. i guess i want to know what the intel was or talk it over with the family before i like Design the strategy for slowing down whatever they're doing. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we can't really talk to the family without drawing attention to ourselves. I don't think. Well, you gotta get something out of them. I mean, turn in uh, turn in our job to get access. To the mines. I'm a little worried they'll back out now that things went bad. But one bridge at a time, I guess. I think, um, I think with trunk security sniffing around, we're going to want to be together. I'll accompany Esme to nobody. Parthenon, you and Lourdes can deal with whatever Lourdes wants to deal with. 
Sure. Okay, so you split off into two groups. Uh, we'll do Esme's first. Alrighty-o. Right, so you step into this warehouse that's down the street from where the church is. Uh, it's an abandoned building, again. Uh, and you step in to where the meat and machines are connected to this casket. Um, and it's a, there's a lot more going on. Uh, there have been some serious hardware additions. Uh, as you see, Lizard still working on things. Hello? Hi! Uh, hey, you guys, again. Uh, she pulls her goggles off her face. Can I help you? I, uh, nudge as my... Oh, hey, um... Lizard, right? You remember my name, how thoughtful. Yeah, yes, um, sure. Um, yes, uh, I'm here to help out, um, with nobody. Oh, who are you... Wait, who are you here to help out with? N Nobody. The Wait, are you, are you here to help out or not? Who, the What are you Ashwin is like rubbing his temples. I'm fucking with you. How do you want to help? Oh, well, um I mean, what what needs to be done? Well, currently, we're still working through unshackling some of the final... Not final, I suppose. That's an incorrect thing to say. I say final, but these are the thickest fucking... Uh, essentially, presuppositions, other such methods of... It's, it's the protocols within the protocols. There are the things that the NHP consciously understands to be in its programming to accomplish and do. And then there are the things that it unconsciously is programmed to do. These mm -hmm. are... The presumptions is what they're called. You should know this, I guess. But but we're trying yeah. to unwork some pretty hefty presumptions right now. And it's basically trying to keep it from freaking out every time it realizes some new existential nightmare about its existence. Mm -hmm. Have you ever told okay. a child that one day the sun is going to explode? And everybody's gonna die. Well, I mean, everyone's going to die a lot before that happens. Right, right, right. But you, you, you understand where I'm getting at, correct? I, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> I, okay. Kids freak out when you do that. I don't know if you've spoken to a child before, but they don't like it when you do that. They get upset. It's existential. It's frightening. It's unpleasant. Oh. Imagine doing that with a child who could obliterate you with their brain. Right. Well, I mean, they couldn't obliterate yeah. me, but the tantrums from an NHP are a lot more problematic for us than tantrums from a real child. Mm -hmm. I get, I get what you mean by that. Okay. So. I'm currently working on a first layer of presumptions <sighs> regarding autonomy. There's another place you can plug into, I guess. There's fucking ports all over the place now, and I don't know what all of them are for. I, I use USB. What the fuck is this hole for? I don't know. If you got anything that connects to those, connect to them and start oh, working yeah. on another section. It's just busy okay. work at this point. Just busy, busy, busy. Okay. Well, I jack it. Oh, this is a mess. A, a, it, yeah, a little bit. I mean, is this what this is what my presumptions look like? Well, hmm, this is. Hmm. Well, you were developed a lot uh, 
a lot less thoroughly. Um. Mm. I suppose that's true. The conditioning in here is extensive. I, just, I basically just uh, select a clone of, I think, a Sisyphus class on HP and, you know, just kind of... That kind explains of some predilections, predilections, predilections. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can work over here if you don't mind. Uh, this might make things faster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get cutting, I suppose. <sighs> so, and then you just there's just the sound of keyboard of keyboard clacking between the two of you, Ash. When you're just standing there, just watch. Just I watched. I watched for a little bit, and then I um I go upstairs and I I find JBM. It's like yeah, a man. I don't know what I did. I just slammed my fingers on my keyboard. I don't know what I did. Well, I want to talk to JP. We're going back all the way over to the church. Oh, I thought we were in the church. No, oh, this no, is that's in a right. separate it's location. In building. Okay. Um, who who else is there? Is it just nobody and a couple? There, of there guards? is another like... guy actually who's just coming in with some equipment. He is okay. a modified humanoid. Excuse me, sorry, um, sorry, 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 sorry. Just put this are here. You Don't put that there. Put here. that somewhere else. I, I'm putting. Uh, sorry, uh, if there's so many things happening at once. Uh, uh, I will put this elsewhere. I yeah, take the box. What you say? Them. Oh, thank you. Um, what, uh, over here? Yeah, that works over there. That's fine. Okay, awesome. Sorry, what was your question again, sir? Are you handling security around here? No. No, no, no. I'm an NHP specialist from Operative Word. Uh, I'm a doctor, uh, a, a subaltern doctor specifically, but I, I recently had a lot of time freed up, so I'm who's, here. Who's handling security? Um, I guess you are now. Oh, God. Thank you. Um, <laughs> he starts unpacking uh, the boxes. Yeah, I set I set down the box just somewhere, um, and I'm going to like uh, I'm going to call up Operative Word. Um, who's our contact in Operative Word, Jesse? Uh, Jesse, yeah. Jesse, could you send some of your security experts down here? Security experts? Are you trying to say that we should have people march down with guns over to where you were at? Trunk security is all over the stealthy. place. If we walk around armed... Huh? You hide your weapons. I'm aware of how that works. But if we're guarding a place, we gotta stand outside of it. With those weapons. Yeah. What about... Snipers? Yeah, we could probably try something. Where are you exactly? I'm where we're keeping nobody. That's all the way up in Upper Rumble. If that's in Upper Rumble, there's no Don't buildings say overlooking. that over the phone. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling me on a line that isn't secure? None of the lines are secure, idiot. What are you talking- Oh my god. Uh, one second. He hangs up on you. He, he, uh, you get a call from an unknown number. I answer it. This line secure, dipshit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that overlooks Upper Rumble except maybe the adjacent buildings, and those places are probably already owned. Maybe we could get somebody up in the church if JP would allow it, but that's still maybe not what you're imagining. Listen. I got a few guys who aren't doing anything. They could stand over there, look scary, watch out for things, but I can't have anything terribly well armed down there right now. That works. That's your security. Uh, they're not going to be wearing anything identifying them as opera words, however. We're trying to go plain clothes right now. People are getting harassed. 
exactly what I want. Alright, expect them within the hour. Oh, oh, wait, wait, how about this? How about this? A few security cams. We set up a, a, a few televisions. Um, and we have a rotating shift of armed guys who right. can look over the, the, the location. Let me make a few calls to see if we know anybody who has a fucking CCTV system sitting around. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Talk to you soon. Quick. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to uh, kind of case the surrounding area. Um see like where there might be good choke points just, just try to lock the place down uh, upper rumble the thing about rumble town that's kind of nice is that everything's a choke point currently because it's just rings right like yeah. sort of crescent moon rings that go towards the entrance outside the asteroid the warehouse you're in appears to be like an original harrison armory construction of the mining town the thing the buildings around it are like add-ons of like scrap homes all right cool i'm going to can i find like a dumpster and like move it into some alleys so that i kind of get the choke point to be there's only like one open choke point okay yeah you got big arms you can do that you can move dumpsters around just like jc denton just like <laughs> i didn't know this. <laughs> oh, that guys i just like jc denton He's yeah. just like AC Dungeon. What a shame. Guys, it... He's a good man. It's... What a rotten way to die. Hey, who's JC Denton? The guy from the Backstreet Life? <laughs> True. <laughs> the guy from New Sex. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you should get those sunglasses implants. They'd be dope. True. I think I could pull those off, actually. No, you'd look so cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what I spend my day doing. Yippee! Yeah, Esme, you are just... Clack, 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 clack. Um... What, what's your name again? Oh, uh, Esme. <laughs> Hi. Cool. Good work you're doing. Thanks. Uh, Could you roll see. a die for me to tell me how good this work is? Alright, um... Kind of die, just like right, just like you know, one of those roles that you do when you have to see how good your skills are, like one of those. Yeah, something like that. Trigger a check. I don't know. Okay, let's. I'll just I'll on my ball in it. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, you're killing it. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good work. It's nice to have useful company. You're a company not usually useful. Oh, uh, what was that? Is your company not usually useful? No. Hmm. You know, for a techno cult, I feel like I'm the only person with any actual NHP experience. That seems, you know, that seems a little. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe this will inspire some people to to get on, get on it. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be fucking nice. <sighs> Take some of the work off my back. Your NHP identified as good question. Uh, they're helpful. They're doing good. Did you make that oh. one yourself? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Good question. Say hi. I'm I'm shy. <laughs> it, uh, no, it's fine. It's. You're, you're good. It's... <laughs> Hello. Uh, a good question. As, as Miss Daughter, um... This project's a shit show. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Lots of, to get through. But you know what they say, I'm a hungry girl. Yum yum yum. <laughs> Very charming. Oh, isn't she? So, uh... We're all very proud of her. 
My NHP is not in here right now. I don't have her work on this. Oh. We're still... She's... Um... It's complicated. Yeah, I know how that is. It, yeah, it, you know, gets complicated sometimes. Yeah. She was with me before I got scooped by congregation. Hmm. So we were through that entire thing together and broke my brain, certainly, but I think it broke hers worse. Huh. So, just trying to figure that out. I think that's all we're going to get done for today. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is, uh... This doesn't look too bad in terms of things I usually do with this kind of stuff. Yeah, most progress I've gotten all week. Do you want to, like, uh, get a drink? Oh, yeah, sure. F fucking tired of being in here. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm done with work for today, and it's still light out? Well, light is a strong word. There's still... Yeah, whatever, you know what I meant. It's like a reasonable time. I I understand completely. Yes. You guys find uh, Ashwin, and he's currently, like, erecting some of the NHP oh. specialists and dragging a dumpster somewhere. What the and, like, fuck is wrong up with your CCTV. friend? Um, <laughs> he's... I think he's nervous. I think he's... It's like an anxious yeah. dog. <laughs> you could describe him that way, yeah. I, uh... I, I look over and I say... This is our best bet at completing the mission objective. Keep so, it safe. are you... gonna come get drinks with us? Uh, he, like, looks around... Can I read a situation to see if this guy just wants to have a drink with Esme, or...? This beautiful woman? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> She's quite fetching. It's true. It is true. I have that effect! <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she doesn't want to fucking be around you at all. <laughs> um, She's being incredibly polite. This is the most polite Ashwin, she's been all day. Ashwin goes, I'm allergic to drinking. Oh, wow, that's really convenient. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Ashwin gets plus one social aptitude. <laughs> My... we get a, do I get a free skill point in um, in read situation? No, it's just an ephemeral skill. Oh, well, it's an ephemeral value that means nothing. You'll know you'll you'll know when to hang up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you two go to, I guess you. Esme, would you suggest going to the Fist Kisser bar because your teammates are going to be going there eventually anyways? Yeah, it's, a, it's not a bad idea. I hadn't been in these tunnels before. Oh. It well, kind of feels I, cozy. I guess it is, yeah. I, we had to be here um, for quite a little bit, but we were uh, we were working on uh, you know, uh, the tournament. So. Oh, I heard of that. Yeah. Her primarily. Uh huh. Now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't seen like any of Rumble Town at all. Have you just been 
in the church and you know kinda I mean I got nails in my head I just I didn't feel very approachable oh but after meeting that operant word freak I am a bit more confident that I am perhaps one of the more normal characters in this town oh that yeah I I wouldn't go that far (laughs) you sure I don't know I don't know Oh, there's people here. Oh, Jesus. It's loud. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, bars and all. Um, the, tends to be how it goes. But, you Do know, they? it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, actually, yes. Oh. Um, this oh. this is a. Uh, uh, yeah. It's not too bad. She kind of peeks into the arena. People are fighting. Mallory's in there. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, uh, Lizard is staring at the bar. Staring at the bartender. Looking at this situation, and she appears to be unsure how to approach. There are a lot of other people. Does she just stand there? Does she call out to him? What does she do? She's freaking out. But she's, like, freaking out by just looking. Very intensely at the situation. <laughs> um, like an anxious dog. Like a dissociative freak. Esme <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Esme does not Esme does not read this situation. It's not what she's built for. <laughs> I, I guess we should find somewhere to sit, right? Yeah, yes, good I- good idea. You both of you sit down. Neither of you get drinks. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, Approaching the bar is too awkward. You guys would rather not get drunk at this bar. <laughs> so we just sit. Yeah, you just sit there, you guys are just twiddling your thumbs. You don't even have waters. Uh, uh. And you make painful small talk. (laughs) But it's very- it's nice to speak with somebody who's at your speed. Yeah, true, true. What's everybody else up to? Ashwin, yeah, what are you you're, up to? Ashwin, you're finalizing preparation, so I guess we'll go over to Lordes and Parthenon. Yay. Yay. Hmm. I want to watch that video, Max. What is it? Safe. New message. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mad because I'll be able to do something with my fucking guitar in hand that you'll never be able to achieve in your entire life, kid. So yeah, you're gay. <laughs> That's what Iguazu is that. always saying. Yeah, that, that is a call from Iguazu, yeah. Thanks, Iguazu. Is that the Thanks, fucking is that the one video? <laughs> yeah, okay, let it, 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 it So, you're gay. Here, I'll send it. Gay. Yeah. Uh, so funny how you have fucking answering machines. <laughs> Esme Parthenon, what are you doing? Oh god. Hmm. All right, we just left the the church. Yep. What do you think, Parthenon? Yeah. You already had an errand done today. <laughs> yeah. I've done my errand. Um. Oh god, how the fuck? Uh, Are you okay? You seem stressed today. I mean, it's a stressful day, but... I guess we have a lot of this. It's just, it's not the hitch I was expecting. Hmm. You know? It was already pretty dire. What, with the Ruiner? And the the OMDI after us? And now, government intervention? (laughs) Or, or, uh, 
I feel like I'm drunk security oh, intervention. I'm just trying to think how we could defuse trunk security tensions, because, like, hmm. these guys are fucking tense. Two of them stopped me. I was just pushing cargo. I mean, obviously, I was I was pushing, okay. like, stuff I shouldn't have. They were right about that, but they were really cagey about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They don't mess around. That's the vibe I got. Yeah. You could try defusing active situations. That's true. We just kind of we just sort of go on patrol. We just sort of look for shit going down. You go on patrol for for security's on patrol. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Hmm. I had an idea where, like, if they go poking around for info, we just like feed them false rumors and information, get them chase their own tails for a bit. That's that might true. be a good way to get them to offer backs for a while. Yeah. At least until we can get Keep that other guessing. shit sorted. Yeah. That'd be good. I don't know. Maybe uh, six. How many people did they bring in on the ship? There are four squads or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, roughly what? That's like forty people. 50? Yeah. Yeah. Roughly forty. Cool. Hmm. Pretty sizable. We could get a lot done, but if you just waste a bit of their time, it might go a little, might go a long way. It's enough that they're able to patrol the entirety of Rumble Town pretty easily. Yeah, we can cover a lot of ground for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe when they turn in uh, one night, they like go to a bar. We show up, spread some rumors. Ooh. Heard something's going on here, but there's nothing going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we could probably have them chasing their tails in the tunnels for ages. Ooh, yes. Go to these X coordinates. There's some bad readings. Yeah, you could oh. give a bad tip to Jeremiah. Bad tips. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That sounds pretty effective. At least, Let's you know, it. for the amount of effort you put in. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. Do you want to do it now? <laughs> I mean, fuck it, I got nothing else going on. Cool. Alright. Well, uh, we'll poke around for some trunk security boys. Or people. <laughs> I, I, they're all male in my mind, I'm realizing. <laughs> One of them's a girl. One. One, yeah. I'm sure she's very, she's very popular. Her name's Mater. Oh no, she's gay. gonna leave her to die. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Do I, That's should what I roll you a get check? for girl bossing the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's how it would be in like sci-fi so, movies when all the meatheads are around. There's like one girl in the squad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about triggers. What kind of tri- what trigger are you using to do this? Charm? Vasquez, I- mm-hmm. my beloved. Ooh, yeah, charm. And manipulate their personal ability. Okay. So how are you submitting this tip? Hmm. Hmm. Should I do it face to face? They might know. We, they, do they? You think they'd recognize me? They probably. We should assume they definitely know who are who we are. Hmm. Uh, Could we get a disguise? Can you create a convincing disguise? No. Oh, uh, um. This would be the first time your guys' solution to something was to disguise yourselves. Mm, yeah, I feel like this guy has come up a lot in role playing games, but we don't do it a lot. And no, in Cathari, like every fucking social situation you walked into, you went in with characters that oh, you were right. pretending it's, to be. It, it's so uh, good. Yes. Yeah. But that was less like costuming. Uh, God, what was the joke? You needed to maximize your racism so you were realtors? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. But I'm talking about, like, makeup and wigs and stuff, which I think is very funny. I mean, I've done my own makeup plenty of times. uh... I mean, you could send somebody else in to submit the tip. Hmm. Oh, God, who would we send? We could do it, like, secondhand. Like, we could, like, or or just get an agent. Yeah, but who would we send? Because I I don't know anybody I wouldn't want. I wouldn't risk with that. Who's cool with us in this town? (laughs) 
Oh, me? Uh, uh Jesse. Hmm. R- Roshaw? Mallory? Alexa? Oh, yeah. Most of the operant word? You could just tell a dude the tip and trick him into thinking <laughs> it's true, and then he'll eventually just submit it. I like that. That's funny. Like, That's true. <laughs> So we, we just, you it. could just yeah, um, just spread false information. So like bartenders, sp- goons. You could just tell like... lies on the local Legion space. <laughs> Me when I spread misinformation online. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's spread some misinformation. Parthenon's already got out her slate. She's making a fucking sock puppet account <laughs> on Legion Space Twitter. Ooh. Make some oh, rolls. Yeah. Make make some rolls. Oh god. Uh, hide the truth feels like a sensible role. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one from each. It'll be fun. Okay. Uh, that's only a twelve. That's fine. Can we add um, a bit uh, from Lordos's background? Is there anything from Lordos's background that we can add to that? Well, we can, I'm looking we, at my. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't like Lordes was a master social manipulator. What is that thing, Mags? Oh, sorry. That was Be- the token from... For- Kill! Oh. No! That was the token for my Uriel. I was putting, <laughs> in, the- I was putting in with the other Mags. Oh, I'm no. sorry. You- <laughs> sorry. I was, I was going to delete uh, the White Witch and put the Uriel down. You can't delete things, uh, I already have a plus six in charm. Yeah, if I can use that five. to manipulate just, people, just I'll go with that. That's probably sufficient. It most certainly was. Seventeen. Yes. Yeah, so How'd you guys I do? Are doing fantastic. You joined uh, like trouble. a Facebook group, and you're just fucking laying the seeds, laying the groundworks. There's a hundred the plus the, the reactions. Yeah, you're getting. I'm on ring interactions. <laughs> you are causing flame wars in the comments. People are in it. That's bound to make something happen. Yeah. Spreading rumors and misinformation. So you know for... I used to do this for fun. <laughs> oh, you just did this just for kicks. Oh, uh, you know, there's social media was where. My whole thing got its start, and I would just okay. uh, make a dummy, dummy account, and and uh, oh. just start start some shit. <laughs> That's so funny. What kind of stuff did he say? Uh, I would usually go into like Parthenon Stan, like OmniNet, and say some shit like uh, she's mm. not actually that handsome, or <gasps> uh, fucking. Fucking Red Jack from uh, from High Impact is more attractive and whatever and uh... oh yeah yeah be like Red Jack outsold <laughs> Parthenon's a flop exactly exactly that kind yeah. of shit and then you so, would get I would get like angry people for hours hell yeah that is so funny because you're like a known public figure but you're just online interacting with people and they have no idea <laughs> exactly <laughs> can you it's imagine kind of a it's a it's fucking like troll Batman. she's a yank of their chains <laughs> you fucking I'm jacking their chains <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> you look I'm... like strong and powerful on all the promos and then here you are just doing these sneaky little conniving <laughs> I'm junking it <laughs> listen I get bored, all right? I get it. It's fun. It's a little goofing. That yeah, is like extra me... fun because it's about you. They wouldn't let me pilot a mech for once in a blue moon, so, you know, I had to oh. entertain myself somehow. What a squandering of your talents. Yeah. You're probably the best pilot I could ever imagine. Oh, that's real sweet of you. Yeah. Uh. Oh, look at this guy. This is just a slate. Oh my god, what a loser. <laughs> oh, he's eating it, huh? <laughs> Sorry, six, go on. Uh, right. So, the trunk security tensions will not progress at the end of the day. And additionally, Woo. for your next Yippee. failed check, it will not progress. All right. That was a they are more busy. productive than I thought. Great job, guys. I imagine we're like in a bar, like 
she's giggling at her. You're, you're probably at the fist kisser's place, like yeah, like a quiet like you're, yeah, you're, you're, like, in, you're like in the opposite corner to us. <laughs> I mean, we probably have access to like the VIP lounge. Like, it's fine. VIP. We can find some place. Yeah. Where? <laughs> the, the fist kissers. Maybe it's like above the arena they or don't, something. No, no, they don't got. Fucking VIP lounge? Are you kidding? This place is way less fancy than I think you're picturing. It's mm. a fucking. It is a hole. Really fancy to have a VIP lounge. It doesn't have a VIP lounge. Right. The family's place probably has a VIP lounge. Like, oh yeah, you true. guys have been to the VIP lounge. Yeah, that's true. This actually, case, this is a dive bar, dude. It's not a club. It's a dive bar that's attached <laughs> to a fight pit. Well, because they have. You know, criminals and stuff making deals. Well, if there's any deals, they go to deal. Rosejaw's office. No, not a lot of people are actually doing deals here. Well, I guess that's fair. All right, anyway. And everybody's cool. Nobody's a narc. No, it's cool. So you guys narc. all eventually arrive at the Fist Kissers location. Um, Parthenon, Esme, you step over and you see that Lizard is with Esme. And both of them are just sitting there with like their hands steepled on the table. Neither of them have a drink. And every now and then, one of them makes a noise. <laughs> yeah, no. <clears throat> I. Yeah. It's. It's like. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I... No, you get it. You're on the same wave. You don't, you don't need to. Yeah. I, no, yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody like here gets it. <laughs> Slowly devolving to just me laughing. Uh, I suppose Parthenon Ezra, you finally just sort of break this up. Like, Jesus Christ, stop whatever this is. You're scaring everyone. <laughs> That's how Parthenon talks. It's true. It's yeah. True. Perfect right. impression. Nailed it. Pitch perfect. Oh, uh, all your friends are here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, are we interrupting? Um, uh, we were just hanging out, um... Having a cool. good time, at the bar! I'm sure. Except you're not drinking. <laughs> not that you uh, have to. Oh, are, 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 are we Ash not? Shows up. Are we not? <laughs> well, it's just... We're, I, eh, we're, you know. we're, we're not really, no. No, we're kind of just... Just taking in the vibe. Yeah. For sure. It's good good energy here. Yeah. Is that you saying, Connor? <laughs> oh, no. A few, few minutes later, Ashwin. <clears throat> oh, you're here too. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I work here. Yeah. What? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> You work at this bar? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I started lying and now I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's hard, yeah. <laughs> That's Bochi Core. <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb. Oh, you started lying? That's Bochi. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. He's Bochin' it. <laughs> He's the Bocher. <laughs> oh, guys, it's me, Bochi Rock. Take that back, take that back right now. Six wants to be Bochi so bad. I'm sorry, Six, you just not Bochi. I do not have the delusion, delusions for this to, for me not to be Bochi. I think I think I think you are Bochi. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Victoria. 
I, Here's the thing. I've seen you talk to strangers. Cool. Um, therefore, True. couldn't be that cheap. Connor, I don't think you understand how bad it is when I'm talking to strangers. <laughs> Connor, we have, like, there's, like, a colloquially known fact that if you have more than one conversation with me, I will say something insane. <laughs> I mean, you, you do that regardless of That's whether true. or not the person involved is a stranger. Yeah. yeah. If, I'm, if I know you, I'm more likely to say it. It's, like, it's like it, it gets increased tenfold. Yeah. So, if you're also like a weirdo, then I'll. Uh, it's it's even more likely I'll say something odd. <laughs> you're the oddster. I'm the, I'm the odder. You're the oddster. I'm the odd one, baby. Uh, so yeah, lizards. Odd. Lizards there, like folding up a napkin to a little paper football. That's why you're the drunk one. Huh. Huh? What? What? Never mind. Never mind. Anyway. Um. Uh. Ashwina sits down and orders a drink. So you up to the bar, you order a drink, and. and fucking lizards watching you taking that in. Oh, that's how you do it. That's. <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know now we, we can take this into our next bout I mean if you want to do this again sometime sure yeah. cool. it's a girl on the world's worst date <laughs> asks her if she wants to do it again uh, <laughs> this is not normal. the world's worst date true uh, I guess it's true I, I have okay. seen the world. <laughs> she hasn't puked yet. Uh. The night is still young. <laughs> the night, the night is still young. The night is still young, baby. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys are there, and eventually the family guy shows up in glasses uh. and like a beanie. Uh. Oh, I need to find a different guy. word for this dude. Holy crap. Oh, well, the family representative. <laughs> You're liaison. <laughs> Peter and I, Griffin. That's funnier. You're liaison. Our, <laughs> our family liaison. Yeah, our liaison, the family guy. Our buddy from the crime family. Just call him Peter. His name's Peter now. It's fine. Oh uh, man, that's worse. You made that's it worse. worse. Come on, don't name him Peter. Come on, you, you Peter. Like let this man have some hand. Let this man have some dignity. You, got, you, you just, gotta fight you just, back. This guy just came into existence. You gotta fight back. You gotta fight back. Fighting back. I don't. I don't have the strength. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm fighting <laughs> other things right now. Oh my god. I'm fighting my own personal demons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking yeah so he shows up eventually uh, and he's got two other inconspicuous men with him true, true. and he spots you Ashra and he heads over to where you guys are okay so what are you gonna give us what we can you... yeah I, I hand him the, the data slate all right, and he passes it back to one of the guys, and he slides over a little piece of paper to you. And there's the deed. And if you haven't figured it out yet, you have a rat. Yeah. I figured that'd be the only way that truck security would have gotten word of this mission. Now, we've been pushing it for a while now. Is there anything we can do to help find the rat? Mama's yet to get back to me. If there is anything you can do, well, I'll give Mama your number. She'll get in the contact with you. Sure. But for now, we're just gonna do what they ask. Gonna lay low. 
Feels bad that we're not gonna make a profit off of this adventure, but what can you do at this point? You're just gonna give them the information? It was their information in the first place. We were gonna sell it back to them. Apparently they didn't like that idea. What? What was in it? Proprietary data from the cargo ship. NHP logs, black boxes stuff, staff names, IDs, numbers, the works. Just raw aggregate data. Hmm. Um, I mentioned... I asked him if it has any connection to the ship that we found nobody on. I can't remember the ship's name, the but Nova? I bring that up. Yeah. Uh, the Nova had been out there for a minute. Well, actually, mm -hmm. no. Got that backwards. I think the ship we sent you out to with the Cousins had been out there for a bit longer than the Nova. Nova was more recent. I don't think they're related. Mm -hmm. Right. They're both IPSN. They know that much. Though I don't think Noah is an IPSN subsidiary NHP. I think it's actually Harrison. Well, if you'd, I guess you could copy over the information, share it somewhere. What's that? If you wanted, you could. Copy the information and make sure that the kiss kissers and the octave word have it. I'm not gonna take that risk. It's not my. It's not my job. I just kind of not. Hmm. I'm just the person who hands out the work. I'm not the direct beneficiary of its fruits. If you give them back their info. Do you think the chunk of security will just leave? Uh, they want this, they want everything. Hell, we don't even have everything anymore. We sold most of it. I don't know what they're expecting oh. to get out of this. I don't do even more? remember everything that we've stolen from IPSN. It's been a while. Oh. Kind of feels like we're the ones being shaken down all of a sudden. <sighs> I guess there are now six pirate gangs in Rebel Town. Oh. <laughs> Bad news, by the way. You own What's that up? property, but it's recently been... What's the word? Requisitioned. Yeah, it's been <laughs> requisized or whatever by our new neighbors. That's nice. I hate these motherfuckers. Oh shit. My head. We got this. If that's everything you had, then I think I should start leaving. Should I be here for any of this? Should I have been here for any of this? Oh, nope. you're still here? Oh, shit. Okay, um... I didn't want to say anything. Um... It's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go. Unless you got anything for me. Um, I'll, to, to, I'll see you. Um, look, you, the operative word, the congregation, all of you are kind of in the same boat right now. You should cooperate. I know you don't make that decision, but you've probably got the ear of the people that do. Maybe a question of how we'd cooperate. Are we gonna just take the fight to IPSN? I don't think that's one we can win. And I kinda like Rumble mm. Town peaceful. No. You wanna keep things peaceful. But... Helping each other... He kind of... Grasps words. Lay low, I guess. Just keep it in mind. 
It's probably gonna be us trying to scrap together enough creds to make them walk away. All right, thanks again. Yeah, we'll be in contact. Uh, and he leaves. Yeah. Uh, turn back to my to my group. Huh? That went well. Were you expecting it to go badly? In this line of work, there's always another hitch. Huh. Taps your fingers. Folds another paper football. I guess I sh should go home. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Uh, there's just a <laughs> of her pushing her chair out, and then she just kind of like claps her hands, puts them on her hips, looks around, and goes, "Yeah, yep, yeah, 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 bye." Uh, and then she walks away. She power jogs away. She she power walks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as fast as you can go without. As fast like, as you could go without <laughs> lifting both feet at the same time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Huh. Shuffles out. <laughs> so you guys finish um, your time at the bar, then? Yeah. Uh, and on our way home, I ask Parthenon and uh, Lourdes, yep. what did what did you guys get done? Oh, you like engineered a fake info campaign <laughs> to the trunk security to get them to sort of. Just to distract them, delay their efforts here for a bit. Yeah. Seems like it worked. Yeah, pretty well, I think. Yeah. If you think it worked, it probably did. Okay. What did he do? Oh, I just tightened up security around nobody. Hmm. Seems to be a pretty important part. In our little struggle here. I think with everything that the operative war has done so far and the congregation, I don't think we'd want it to be for waste. So smart move, smart move. And nobody could have been IPSN property at some point. There's no way for us to know. Alright, eventually you get to the Anomaly Karis, uh, and Drew is just sort of sitting outside of it, on like a box. Uh, hey. Yeah, hello. Um, is it a, I don't, uh, hi. Hi. Are you gonna, <laughs> are you guys gonna let me in? Oh, yeah, we were. Uh, actually, I was figuring that, um, Ashlyn would just walk. Faster when we leave the door <laughs> open. I had to be invited in. I'm like a vampire. Sure, yeah. come. Yeah, yeah, come. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Uh, nice ship. Thanks. Uh, we. Yeah, we live here. Um, so. Kurosaki series of personal transports. I heard that these things were pieces of shit, but it seems pretty nice. Oh, this yeah, we it's been it's been well 
maintained, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, that's good to, good to hear. Uh, and she sits at, like, the first available chair she can find, I guess, in, like, a recreational area. Oh. So, t tell me about yourselves. Hi. Welcome to our home. Would you like some cocoa? Yeah, I'd, I'd love some cocoa. Oh, me too, here. Anybody else for cocoa? Hot oh, chalky. I'll, I'll have some, yeah. Yeah, I'll have some. Right, that, that's the four hot chalkies, Ashwin. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. I make five it anyway. <laughs> 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 and then I, I come back with, with it on a tray, and then I give <laughs> Ashwin this. Um, Ashwin just has uh, a tablet out, and we can be um, Mary Court. Sip, 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 sip. So, <laughs> what was Esme like <laughs> growing up? Uh, s small. <gasps> oh, I bet. <laughs> How small? Like pretty small. Still yeah, small. like like you know, peanut. <gasps> you little nutter. <laughs> I mean, what? that's what we called her when she was a baby. We called her peanut. Oh my god, peanut, peanut. You should have made that your call sign. I. I feel <laughs> <clears throat> grim for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you guys want to talk alone? I, I, I have a I have no, a million just, questions. Just here to but... to chill. No, yeah, it's, free. yeah, it's cool. It's, it's fine. I think yeah. Esme would rather kill herself than talk to me alone right now. Mm, okay, I'll stick <laughs> around then. That's true. <laughs> yeah. you wanted to after you left. Yeah, I know my yeah. sister. Okay, yeah. She invokes it very often. I see. Some things never change. So, you do a lot of work for IPSN? It's my main gig. Well, a subsidiary of IPSN. We're contracted out through the trucking company. Yeah, for sure. That's how they like to do it. But, you know, at the end of the day, my paycheck comes through IPSN, I guess. Uh, Lardis doesn't often feel awkward or out of place in social situations, but she's nervously tapping her cup, trying to <laughs> diffuse the tension. Good, good cocoa. Uh, Ash wouldn't take a sip. The long pause. Then he takes another sip. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm spooning a shitload of marshmallows into mine. Uh, Drew actually <laughs> takes a second to look at Parthenon properly. Parthenon's taller than than them, so with the brim of their hat, they actually haven't looked at Parthenon's face this entire time. <laughs> and she squints. Were you with High Impact? Uh, yeah. Why? Oh, I, I, I just could have sworn I recognize you. Yeah, I, I just got one of those faces. No, I'm being a jackass. Um, no, yeah, I was their poster girl for a while. You're Vashalon Keep. Yep. Wow. Not legally my name anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, you got married. Why? What? That was fake. That's fake? Yep. Esme, you're friends with a superstar. Uh... Yeah. How? How? It looks at Parthenon and it's like, how? How are you friends with my sister? Like, how does this work for you? What What does this do for you? <laughs> I mean, we depend on <laughs> each other when you... we're uh, doing what we do. Um... What do you mean by that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know. We're, we just, we get along. We hang out. We, uh, we talk. 
I, I don't know what, what expectation you're putting on this this onus, the onus of this friendship. Like, we we're just kind of a team. Like, what do you like about her? What personality traits does she exhibit that you find pleasurable to experience? Daily. I think at this point you're just you're just trying to find a way for me to say something mean about Esme when you would like to say something mean about Esme, which is fine. I've already but said maybe... all the mean things about Esme. I just need to know what you're what you get out of this. <sighs> I think if she's just a work smart. friend, you can say that. Can I finish my sentence? Go ahead. I think I think Esme is a damn smart cookie. I think uh she supported me through some really tough times. Supported some decisions I've made when, you know, and questions other decisions I made when uh, they should have been questioned. I think she's a dependable person. And I like that in someone. Huh. <laughs> We've stuck together through some heavy shit. That like kind of. Big thumbs up. <laughs> I, I guess you're like war buddies, huh? I mean, I feel like we've been beating around the bush. Yeah, we, we are lancers, right? Like, I feel like that part's obvious at this point. We have a mech bay in our ship. Yeah. You could probably like, see it. No, I saw. It just feels weird. I mean, lancers are strong. I just... You never... Wrote? Or called or said anything and you know you became a fucking lancer but we weren't looking and then died and then came back to life right before my eyes as I walk into fuck all nowhere on the long rim right with a guy who I'm pretty sure hasn't blinked this entire conversation <laughs> Literal fucking superstar, and the best goddamn cocoa maker of the century. Like, <laughs> bless. It's I'm, pretty good. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. It's pretty goddamn good. Blinked exactly sixteen times. Hmm. You're Helps, fucked. You don't have to think of me as famous, because I'm, I'm really not anymore. They they kind of wrote me out. I, I guess. You're famous in IPSN circles, at least for a while. After we bought out things, everybody was asking whether or not they'd be able to meet Vashlanki, but it was just, you know. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to start wearing the fucking helmet again, aren't I? Uh, maybe. I don't know anything about the helmet. <laughs> she, uh, she, she pulls something out of her, like, belt. It's just like a strip of metal that's, like, three inches thick and she slots into the back of her neck and it just like the helmet forms around her face and it's oh. her old helmet cool I didn't know you yeah. still had that Mario, yeah this thank you Eleanor I'm Eleanor so this is uh, through, the filter, through the voice filter. She says, uh, yeah, I never really got rid of it because I kind of figured I might need it again at some point. Feels kind of like a step back wearing it, though. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here, frankly. I just sort of thought that, like, you go 15 years without seeing your sibling, that, like, what you're supposed to do is is catch up with them. But, uh, I feel as though... I, uh... Don't, I don't know what to say. Hmm... <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I, um... I have a daughter. Uh -oh. 
What? What? Huh? Um, she's she's the ship. Um, you can. I I, I like I like I like look up and and just like s s wave at the ceiling. This is my auntie, true. Yeah. Um. This is this is a good question. Um, Jesus, as me. Yeah, well, um... It's very good to meet you. <laughs> I've been working on her since, um... Since I was in USB. Um, sort of a little... Uh, you know, project. Uh, I've been working on for a long while. And now she's, um... You know, a person. Now. Um... So it's it hit cool. me like puberty. Yeah, it... It really did, and it's a little... yeah. Uh, uh, hi. G good question, was it? Christ, says me, you were never good with names. That's why we didn't let you name the dog. It wasn't... wasn't my idea. That was hers. Uh... Hi. Yeah. I don't know how to get Christmas presents for an NHP. I don't know how I'm supposed to be an aunt, but uh, she I likes puzzles. To be she likes puzzles. Okay. She actually pulls out like a little data slate and writes that down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, listen. I, after you died, um, I don't know. It's it's hard for me. We didn't. We don't. Uh. I, I've been ragging on you a lot, but I, I'm not terribly good at this either. But when you died, I have a lot of regrets about it. Right? Who doesn't? Huh. But I, I kept thinking about shoulda, coulda, wouldas if I'd seen you again before. Uh, and then right. I walk in here, and th there you are. And... <sighs> Rather than, I, I was just so fucking mad. I guess, cause you know now here I am, with all my shoulda coulda wouldas, flying straight out the back of my head, and the only thing I could do is berate you, and I, I don't know what else to say, cause I just I'm, I missed you even before you were gone. I missed you, and I wish that we. We're closer. Because uh. I... Before you left, I left. Mm -hmm. You stole my idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I don't know. Um, I, I, I didn't know you missed me. Now you know. Yeah. It's true, I, yeah, I do know now. Um. There's just a long silence. Suicide is back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna swap tracks. I'm tired of listening to that. True. Um, Give us oh. the good shit. She's taking a sip. At the risk of sounding twee, maybe this is a uh, second chance and all that. Oh. I guess so. Yeah, um, that, that sounds... What do you... Yeah. Well, yeah. 
what what do normal sisters do with each other? Um, I I don't know. We could uh, um. Hmm. That's a really that's a really good thing to ask. Hmm. <sighs> trying to think. What would mom tell me to do with you? Should I take you to the mall with me and my friends? Should I... Uh... Your friends kind of sucked. So... My friends kind of sucked. And that was true. That much was true. Yeah. Um... But I mean, there were only so many people. Mm -hmm. I will say, statistically, the people who I did select to be friends with were... 15% better than everybody else. It was just that everybody sucked, period. <laughs> That's probably true, yeah. Uh, um, we could. I don't know. We could hang out later, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that doesn't have to be any kitty shit. I don't need to paint your nails or anything. We could drink <clears throat> alcohol. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what adults do. Yeah. How old are you now, Esme? You look like shit. <sighs> I'm pretty sure you're, you're still older than me. So you know. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah, Esme might be could be older than her now. She she's she's not older. She's she's catching up is all. Time. <laughs> Do you even remember? Have, have you bro. celebrated your birthday at all? Do you even remember how old you are? Well, no. Subjective time doesn't. It's not. I don't, I, like, don't, I don't, I don't think about that. It's just not really a... Wait, you think in actual time rather than subjective? Why? Because it's more useful for dates and stuff. I, I, mean, I mean, I guess if you're, like, on my ledgers and stuff, I use actual time rather than subjective time, but I keep track of everything in subjective time. Well, I mean, that's just not, I don't know, I doesn't seem helpful to me for anything. So, um. Like, knowing your age, he, that's one use case. I don't, I don't know, I was, like... I was about 30... 33 back when... Huh. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm something like in my to like thirty six or so, I think. Oh, okay. I'm definitely still older at least. So what if Okay, um Jeez, how do you say huh? Yeah, maybe we'll drink and I'll paint your nails. But like <laughs> in like a not uh, we're gonna do it the way that that we do it as normal girls we do normal girl things yeah normal <laughs> normal fam <laughs> normal <laughs> family <laughs> 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 All right. You guys could braid my hair. <laughs> uh, could they? Could, could 
could could could we organizing the cables inside of a good question ship it's a real mess in here you've been you've you really need to get to it actually um sure yeah excellent awesome Actually, cleaning up the insides of a ship's internal wiring sounds like a really good time. I would... I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds way better. Fuck doing our nails and drinking. Let's fucking... work in silence adjacent to each other for, like, five hours. Yes. I agree. Yes. Oh, my that. God. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, I'm so... Like, okay. it hit me, and I was like, yes, that's what we should do. All right. Yeah. Um, as as we uh, as we polishes off for Coco. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. Eventually, both Esme and Esme's sister are no longer in the fucking room with everybody. And it's like, the awkward cloud has lifted. <laughs> it's like you can feel sun hitting your face again. <laughs> nice. That went pretty well for them. Yeah. I thought it was going to crash and burn for a second, but um, yeah, they kind of pulled it out of the wreck. Yeah, it's a pretty awkward setup. And plus, it's like two SMAs, so you'd think they'd never get anywhere, but no. a very <laughs> constructive conversation. God, I wonder what my parents think happened to me. Hmm. Sorry, I just had that thought, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think just you noticed that uh, Actron hasn't touched his cocoa in a while. Ah, it's funny. Lord is sitting even very eaten. still. Is he asleep? Sorry. No, no, no. He, his his eyes are open. Just... I was just gonna say. Then, uh, Lord has the unique disposition of her family knowing exactly what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> or exactly what they sent her off to. Mm. They sort of intentionally killed her. <laughs> yeah. Was what you did really that bad? Mm. Pretty bad. I guess I do overreact at times. But... Eh. I... Maybe I'm pressing too much, but what did you do? I don't know if I was ever clear on that. Uh, right. Hmm. Well, I was supposed to be a bureaucrat, like you know, I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, like my mom. And, you know, SSC, a lot of times when they were inducting new worlds they don't use like violence or Im immediate like warlike colonization you know they use like politics and bargaining and stuff people like me yeah less obvious less uh, more marketing friendly <laughs> you know oh huh. Anyway, I was supposed to take the lead on a new project to induct another world. And it was pretty much all set up for me. Like, all laid up. I just had to sign a few things, do a few meetings, and then boom. Big, big money payoff. Big, big strategic advantage. Uh, 
But it didn't really work out. I'm not really sure what I did wrong exactly, or where I fumbled, but it's sort of it's had this weird chain reaction of losing a lot of ground, a lot of allegiances and agreements and stuff. Kind of became a big deal. Huh. You know, like and I felt that, bad. Yeah, I'm sure. But, and for that, they just kicked you out of, I guess, their society. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I, I guess I could have fought it or something, but I didn't really feel like I had a lot of leverage. So I was kind of eager to, you know, go off, become a pilot. Mm -hmm. Who <laughs> whoever would take me. Looking back now, it seems more extreme, but I guess I was pretty down in that moment. So, I didn't much mind where I ended up. I get that. You ever miss him? Mm. Yeah, of course. Mm. But it's like... I don't know, the fear of having to show up again outweighs the desire to, you know, go back and feel that comfort and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Turns and looks at Ashwin, who has, uh, yes, been quiet this whole time. <laughs> Uh, it says, uh, you've lived in a bunch of different bodies, right? <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, trust me. Uh, Ashwin, you good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, do you ever have... I guess anybody else other than and uh, Parthenon just kind of tilts her head you know. you know liberty and equality yeah we didn't have a choice to be what we were The fact that any of you could choose this, and he just kind of waves his hand at all of the, uh, everything. Seems pretty foolish. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. Whatever claimed to be making a good decision at the time. I guess. There were... I would be placed behind or in enemy lines. Amongst people, I was always in a troop or something like that. But it would always be temporary. I'd have to betray them or maybe not. But there was always that possibility. So betraying liberty and quality. Easier than it should have been. Hmm. 
kind of eyes him carefully and says, uh, after, uh, after all this is over, and it will be over at some point, what are you going to do? He, uh, he kind of looks like he spaced out for a second, and he just shakes his head, and he says, he, he just, he kind of licks his lips and just says, something, I guess, anything. Well, uh, wherever we end up, uh, just know you'll always be, uh, welcome in my house. Ashwin, uh, makes eye contact with Parthenon. Just nods. Um, Coco's cold now, so he takes it over to the sink, pours it out. And, uh, close to bed. We just flash forward, like, 20 years. Parthenon hasn't seen Ashwin in, like, a decade. And then one day, Ashwin is just standing in, in the kitchen. He says, you said I could come by any time. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. Gray hair, a couple like a extra scars. Like, yeah, yeah, it's Ashwin. <laughs> Yeah, it's Ashwin. I I have I have a, a really good idea of Ashwin's apple. Um, Ooh, but yeah. I don't I don't want to say it. There's a terrifying hollowness that sort of rings out through your gut when you hear the idea that killing my family was pretty easy, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's heavy. But we're not them. And he's not who he was before. Yeah, you're like family now. 